Big Mom, here we go. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. No, I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Show you what I'm all about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make up for what we lost. Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. And welcome to our Vietnam adventure. Okay, a lot has happened. Well, not really a lot, to be honest, um, since we last checked in. So, I'm not in focus. I am not in focus. Now I am in focus. Um, quite a bit has happened since we last traveled. I Today is Friday, so we arrived Monday, and then you guys know we had to go back up to Saigon on Tuesday. And we've kind of like played it low-key because so i have my uncle ding and my uncle dom my uncle dom lives down here and he has one son and a few grandkids but my uncle ding has more children and they've had to like work so we haven't had a lot of like transportation a lot of like motorbikes so we've stayed pretty local we stayed pretty close i think the most exciting thing we did was go to the mall and then yesterday which was thursday i got really really sick um yeah it wasn't pretty i got really sick i just like I had like food poisoning or a stomach bug or something. I'm still not feeling a hundred, but I am feeling a little better. I showered, I put on my makeup. Um, yeah, so today we are gonna go to the New Year's market, which is like near our house and just kind of bop around and hopefully I can finally get some fun content to share because we haven't really done much and I haven't really shared much. So yeah, I wanted to really open this and just be like, welcome to Vietnam day one, but we haven't done anything. And it's like Vietnam day like five or something. So. I'm just going to take you guys along. We're going to go to the market, bop around, take some photos, and yeah. Remember, we, we buy the gift shop over there. You remember the gift Is it shop open? over there? <laughs> Is it open? I'm not sure. Just so cool. Yeah, this so is uh, some so so Who did we just visit, man? We just visited our cousin. Uh, our first cousin, Ian, she lives in Arizona, but we get met her in here in Vietnam. Most of our Vietnam trips include visiting family that I've never heard of, sitting there as they try to feed us, I can't communicate, and then leaving. Can you please take a picture of me with this smile? Yeah. 
We're at the cathedral now. What? Is, this is the cathedral, man? Yeah, this is the cathedral. This is the cathedral now, and my family's inside at the gift shop, and then we're hopefully going to move on to explore some more. It is so hot, which is why I'm using my fan. I got this on Amazon. I watch a lot of Disney World vloggers, and they always use this, and so I ordered this off Amazon for $11. Thank God, because it's the most amazing thing ever. My Aunt Lo loves taking pictures. She's the queen of pictures. We're currently in Ban and Gyu. This is my favorite place in Vietnam. It's so pretty, man. Where are we? Bun and Kêu, Cần Thơ. Yay! <laughs> look, look. This, this, this side is nice, look. Yeah, it's pretty. They bring your luggage, so that way you can. That way, when you get there, they drop you up there. Oh my God! <laughs> What's the one? What? What is this? The offer, you know, like um, like the offer thing in there. Oh yeah! Wow. 
will still be having the time. Black mate, I hold the scissors. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff wants the good one. Let me get the stick. Bà nội không thương con nữa lại đây ngồi sao hỏi coi Bà nội không thương con sao bà nội không thương con vậy Bộ con phá sao con không nghe lời hả Ngài lại ngồi kén bên sao bà nội không thương con Nó nói bà nội không thương con nữa Bà nội cho con đi mua đồ mà con muốn mua cái gì What did she say? She said my grandma don't love me anymore because I want to buy toy <cười> Mà, chờ, mà con muốn mua hồi nào Mà tìm tập quá hả? Mà cái chuyện nào con muốn đi mua Mua nè Mua nè hả? We at um, Khu du lịch Phú Hữu What is it? I don't know <laughs> How many times have I gotten lost on this trip? Uh, so far twice. Twice. By I thought each... somebody was kidnapping Linda from the, with a family member was kidnapping Linda. <laughs> By but... each of her brothers, yes. I got lost yes. and separated from the group. Yes. Twice. And he's supposed to be the leader. <laughs> he leads us to nowhere. <laughs> Jeffrey, don't open here. Keep over here. Come here. Turn around. Can this support my way? I'm not going across there. Okay, Hell no. no. That's what, if they can't support your way, ain't gonna support mine. <laughs> Keep moving. Your brother want me to go in that tiny boat. No! 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 Jeffrey is braver than I am. <laughs> Are you going? After seeing that. What happened? What happened? See, I'm almost fell. <laughs> So he almost fell getting off, so he got scared. I think no, I think he can't find it yourself. Because when he get up, see, yes, he will hold the boat for you. No, 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 let's go. No, no. Come on. 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 Come on.
You gonna get in? Oh my god, man, are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> Can you show your hat for Haley? <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning. It is the second day of New Year, so I look a mess. I just got out of a shower. It is 5.38 a.m. in the morning. It's Sunday morning here, so it's the second day of New Year. I don't know where I last let, let off in the vlog, but we're approaching our second week and our last week in Vietnam. First week was like pretty slow, but things are starting to pick up and I'm really excited about that. So our last week is definitely gonna go out with a bang. Um, I don't know if, I don't know what the last thing I filmed was. You can come in. Say good morning to the video. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> it's the second day of New Year. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is the second day. It's very important to <laughs> the Nguyen family because today is give, giving time <laughs> and red envelope. Yay! <laughs> Um, I don't know what the last thing I filmed was, but yesterday on the first day, we went to that park that you guys saw. What was it called? Fu Hu. Fu Hu. We went to that park that you guys saw, and I mentioned, my mom and I mentioned, I got lost twice. So one day, I went out with my Uncle Ding. We went shopping with my little cousins, and they went to like some store, I don't know. They all pretty much took the taxi and I like to be on their motorbike, so I took the motorbike with my uncle. He got lost and we just rode around for like 30 minutes and mm -hmm. And then this time we went to Fu Ho. Yeah? Yes, Fu Ho. We went there and my un I rode with my Uncle Dome who said he was gonna be the leader. He like wanted to take us, he's the leader, and he got lost. And when we arrived, we were the last ones there. So I got lost twice by both of my uncles in Vietnam. But we went there yesterday and essentially it's kind of like an amusement park and like a very light one it's like no disney world but they had like a little like water park and they just have like places to take photos which is really cool my family knows that i like to take photos they always like to take me around um so we went there and then all of my cousins had gotten off of work so then they arrived here so it was a lot of fun um yeah and then today today is the second day of new year it's one of our most exciting days so it's the day that we're going to give out presents and red envelopes and all of that um so you'll finally get to see all the luggages we brought finally we unpack them and we're giving out gifts today i think what i want to do today is show you guys a little house tour of like where we're staying and then obviously like show gifts and everything and then tomorrow is probably going to be one of my favorite days because we're going to saigon right Market. We're going to Saigon tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited for. I have been to Vietnam five times now, including when I was younger. And we've never, we live like about like four or five hours away from Ho Chi Minh City. So, and we typically fl uh, fly in and get in at midnight. And so we've never really like explored the area. So as many times as I've been here, I've never really been to Ho Chi Minh City. So we're finally going and I'm really excited. And there's so much I want to do. There's a lot in District 1 that I want to do. I want to go to the post office, the Pink Church, Bun Tan Market. Um, I think they have like a little book road. I like love reading and I like love stuff like that. So I want to go there. So I'm just really excited. So we have a lot planned. And then the next day we're going to Lom Sing, right? Got the, Lom Sing. the next day we're I'm going to 
Lom Singh, which is where my other uncle lives, and we're just gonna, and where a lot of my cousins live, so we're gonna go there and explore, and then I think it's pretty quiet until we go home, but a lot planned for the new year. Also, my family, which is like kind of weird, but we hire a videographer. His name is Sang, and we've been working for, with him for years, right? Yes. We've been working with him for years, and my family just likes to make a video of everything, so it's like weird, because he comes with us when we arrive at the airport, and he has the big camera. Back for him. Yeah, we've made a gift bag for him. Everyone gets gift bags. We had a woman come to the house the other day to do our nails and we even gave her a gift bag. And what's so wild is like, yes, they make house calls here to do manicures and pedicures, but she only charged $5 for four people head to toe. And so we gave her like $20 because we were like, that's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so we have a videographer and he comes with us to the airport and he pretty much like, he's not always with us, but any of like the big occasions, so like New Year's, the airport, stuff like that, he comes with us and just films, so he makes his own video. So we've had a bit of a slow start. Again, this trip is like different than probably a typical travel vlog because I am visiting family. Um, we just have a lot of family here and so we like come here to see my grandma and my cousins and we stay pretty local We don't stay in a hotel and so that's why we're kind of like in and out all day We're not like constantly go go going so it's a very different trip, but so far it's been a good one It's I'll take you guys along with me. My mom and I have matching outfits today We're both wearing jeans and a red Levi's t-shirt So we have matching outfits today and we're gonna take really cute pictures with the red envelopes Which I'll insert here if I can figure out how to do that and yeah, I'm just getting ready now. I'm drinking water. The water in Vietnam is called La Vie. La Vie. La Vie. So that's what I'm drinking. And I will check in with you guys when I'm all ready to go. This is our food. It's called your no side. Your uh -huh. no side. Your no side meant enough. To live enough, you have enough money, you have enough health, you have everything. You have no side. This is for like cow men, pray, pray, you have, you have no side. Give us a tour of the house. Hold on. Okay, yes, I'm a tour guide. Hey, but before you do that, you take a picture of me. Right? So, welcome to my crib. Hold on, let me go outside and then you open the gate for me. Okay. <laughs> This is our, well, this is our outside that we have upstairs as well. Okay, ready? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> okay, house door. In Asian households, you obviously leave your shoes at the door. Okay. This normally is a formal living room, but right now we use for motorcycle parking. <laughs> You go first. Okay, so traditional is the flower art. Many flower art we can put. So this is called yellow mine. This is called, I don't know what this is. <laughs> and this is. I don't know if you guys remember this from the flower shop, but this had no leaves on it when we bought it, and now it has flowers everywhere. This is conquest, but it's also represent for happiness. It's called dry hand. This more bikes. More bikes. And this is the karaoke room. And grandma like to cover everything including the big TV. Okay, <laughs> And this is the bedroom. One. One. And this is Say hi and low and hip. From a dining room, and this is the shrine for this is my grandpa.
messy right now because we have a full house. We have 27 people in this house right now. 27 or 30, I don't know. This is our brother Ding. <laughs> and I'm turning around. This is our brother. And I'm, this is our brother Dom. This is Linda Cousin C. Everybody, too many people to call our names. Look at her outfit. Why did I put a Uh-huh. No! Call her This is... Yeah. Get the room. Let's show the back to Uh-huh. <laughs> and this is where... All the cooking going on. Yeah. To the kitchen. <laughs> Thôi chóng mặt rồi, chóng mặt rồi. Đó đi nhảy đi nhảy đi, diễn đi. Muốn ăn đi giờ muốn ăn đi. Giờ muốn ăn đi. Muốn ăn muốn ăn. Trong ba lô cả cho có gì vậy bà Sáu Trời ơi trời Thôi nhỏ nhỏ bà Sáu nghe Mỗi bà Sáu không gì ta Thôi nhỏ nhỏ thôi Ông bà Sáu lại không quyến rồi Sáu kể cho nghe Không không đi nhưng mà không có kể Thôi tao kể Bà Sáu nói là bất ngờ Đứng về cho má Bất ngờ tao nghe xuân qua người cơ I wish all my family will uh, have a good health and uh, all our wishes will come true. Uh, that's it, peace! <laughs> And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get enough This is the prettiest rest stop we've ever been to Yes! <laughs> To be mine, to be mine I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too Cause 
I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall Bantan Market, what do you think? Well, you need to bring the local so you can bargain. <laughs> Something they told us for one million two, we bargained Which is down. How much in US? Fifty one dollars. Fifty dollars. We bargained down to four five hundred thousand with equivalent to like twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. From fifty one to twenty one. There were a lot of shops that are still closed because of the Lunar New Year, but for the most part, I think we had a good experience. Yes. It was a lot of bargaining. We've, I picked out everything and then we had to walk away. We got some people cuss us out. <laughs> we don't care. Let's see where the little hat. I know, I didn't get the little hat. There we were two shops that I had to walk away from. But overall it was good, but you definitely have to bargain. And I don't think you that I made for bargain. bargaining. You do not pay the price that they are. <laughs> My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying Oh my god, it's happening We found Starbucks We're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts Pretty. Yeah, the post office. I heard it saying yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna na 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 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark. I feel like I'm always talking. Wow, I look great. I feel like I'm always talking in a bathrobe, but here we are. So, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Let me set you up. Graceful as ever. Wow, hello. Hello. Maybe I should adjust this. Better? Worse? I look bad. Wow, too bright. Better. Still very bright. <laughs> Anyways, okay. How many times have we, I feel like I'm always in a robe talking, but here we are. So, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I just wanted to update you really quickly on what's been going on, what's been happening. I'm not sure what I filmed. I feel like I've been all over the place, but anyway. So, um, you guys have seen footage from when we went to Saigon on Monday. Tuesday, we went to Lom Sing, which is where my Uncle Ding lives and where most of my cousins live. I didn't film that day, and I really regret it because it was definitely one of my favorite days. I did take a few pictures, and I have like a little clip here, which I'll insert if I can figure out how to do all that. But basically, we went to my Uncle Ding's house, and um, yeah, so saw all of my cousins and they took us around which i really enjoyed we went to the local market and we shopped for like shrimp and fish and stuff like that like a fish market um which was like really fun 
and then we went shopping for souvenirs i love the souvenirs in vietnam i just like love like cutesy little things and i just like can't help myself when we get in these stores i literally buy everything um so we got some souvenirs which i feel like i'll share somewhere in this video i don't know if i'll make a separate video but I'll share what everything that I got um, and then we went to this really nice cafe to take some blog photos which I'll insert here and then we went to this other really cool cafe um, that is like hard to describe but I actually got a video clip so again I'll insert it but basically like you're not in water like you don't get wet but you your like booth is in the water and then the, sh the shrimp the fish like swim around you which is really really fun and really cool and i wish they had stuff like that in the u.s maybe they do and i just don't know um yeah so that's what we did tuesday Wednesday we went to the floating market which was fun but a little crazy if I'm being honest like I don't know how to swim and I'm like afraid of water and so the whole experience kind of like really freaked me out like at one point which I think I shared the boat broke down like something got stuffed in the engine and the the like guy driving the boat had to like strip down and jump in and like clear it and then got back on so that was an experience and then I don't know if I share this too but when we, when we went to the fruit farm the tide was so low that the boat couldn't come back and get us so we had to get on a smaller boat which then took us to the bigger boat and then <laughs> they put the boats next to each other and we all essentially like just climbed in like through the windows <laughs> which was like so funny and I wish I don't have a video of it but I just wish that someone had a video of us doing it because it was so funny um yeah so that was Wednesday and so which I'll insert here <laughs> best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in full i will show the ball <laughs> hey. 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 what's up everybody hello 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 we now just about to go to the floating market and dương trái cây. Drifting the deep space, so brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you? Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you, you and me so clueless.
So our boat was like weird and we've had to crawl and climb through lots of weird places to get here. <laughs> Look at this bridge. I'm like one bump away from falling through something. Even though 
we just met Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you Hope speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna face it This is the small boat, can I take us a big boat? Yes <laughs> Đó, cái, cái chiếc nhỏ xíu xíu đó. Được mà, cái, cái này xuống xuống mình chống ra được mà. Đây, dịch nó đất rồi, chạy được. Sao vậy? Có ai xuống đất tôi đưa xuống vậy? All that is stuck in my head. It's me and you. Hope speed and my heart is racing. But I'm not sure I wanna face it. Cause it only does this with you. Hello. Thursday we didn't do much, so I didn't really film. And then today is Friday, so it is Friday night, and it's about like eight, I think. And I just showered because we're getting ready to go to the airport. Our car comes around like 10.30, 11 p.m. And we're going to drive to Saigon. And then our flight is at 7 for the return trip home. So we are leaving Saturday morning. But because we live far from the airport, we have to leave Friday night technically. So we're leaving Saturday morning. We arrive back in the States Saturday night, which let me tell you. So we gain time, which let me tell you is honestly so trippy. I think it's honestly, for me, it's like trippier to gain time than to lose time I don't know um, so yeah so I don't know how much of today I'm going to share which I know hasn't been really interesting but I don't know how much of today we're gonna share it's gonna be really emotional um, saying goodbye to everyone this is always the hardest part of the trip and I each and every time I've cried like a baby so I'm probably not gonna whip out the camera but yeah so we're just like packing and finalizing things i already like feel very emotional all of my cousins just arrived because they're riding with us to the airport so i'm already feeling very emotional we have three goodbyes to get to um my grandma who we've like seen in some of the videos she's like older and she's like pretty weak so she obviously doesn't come to the airport with us but we say goodbye to her first and then the big goodbye is at the airport with all of my cousins and my aunts and my uncles and that's gonna be very emotional i'm like tearing up already just thinking about it so that's gonna be tough and then once we arrive back in the states we have to say goodbye to my aunt Fung and my cousin jeffrey who we've seen in the video who we traveled with and we will travel back with so it's gonna be hard but my boyfriend eddie who you saw at the beginning of the series he he will be at the airport greeting us. He's gonna bring my dog, which I'm really happy about. He's hopefully gonna bring me some bubble tea and Chick-fil-A. So I'm trying to look forward to that, but I am already feeling very sad and very emotional. So again, I don't know how much of today I'm going to film. I'm gonna to try to film a little bit here and there. Um, probably nothing overly emotional, but just know in between these like moments, I am crying. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I will see you soon. I don't know when, but we will definitely chat when I'm back home. So. Coronavirus. <laughs> We're finally on the plane. Finally heading home. Finally on the plane. It was such a journey getting here this morning was supposed to pick us up at 11 and then they called us at 10 30 and told us he was only halfway from Saigon which would have been two hours later and we definitely would have missed the flight but we are finally here and yes anything that could have gone wrong this morning went wrong we got stopped by security multiple times so it has been one hell of a trip but we're finally on the flight to Tokyo and I will see you guys when we get to Tokyo we didn't even Eddie's back. Hi, my 
Pussy Pussy And Baby's back Alright, three minutes away Hi little Who angel Who's gonna take a bath today? Who's gonna take a bath today? By the way, I just got home and I was like so excited. So this is this is the mess that we made. So this is like the stuff that we got in Japan. I got this really cute bag, which again, I'll make a separate video on. But I got this really cute Hello Kitty bag. So that we put all of our stuff here and then we like open our luggages. I was just really excited to show Eddie like all the stuff that I got. So this is the mess that we made. This is what it currently looks like. This is Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my little baby. Oh, hi, honey. I made my first ever vlogger mistake. I wasn't recording. Anyways, I am home finally. I have reunited with Eddie. Hey. Mm. And with Kenny, who you can't see, but he's in the kitchen with my mom. I'm zooming in. Slowly, slowly. And there we go. So, anyways, I am home, finally. It has been a very long travel day. Am I red? Am I red? I'm always red. Um, it has been a very long travel day. I think the last time we spoke, I was getting ready to go to the airport in Vietnam. Um, like I said, I didn't really film much because it was a very emotional day, but I just wanted to take a minute and fill you guys in on everything that happened. So basically, we said goodbye to my grandma and my aunt and one of my cousins and his daughter, and it was really sad. My grandma is like, she's older, she's like in her 80s, and she used to be very strong, she used to be very tough, and she has just like gotten sick throughout the year, she's like very weak. But she always like knows when we're leaving and that's why like she she wouldn't go to sleep and like she was like trying to like walk around and she can't really walk by herself but she was like trying to go so it was really emotional and really sad but once we left so we were supposed to get a car to go to the airport around 11 p.m because our flight was at we were supposed to leave for the airport like 11 p.m. on Friday because our flight was like 7 a.m. Saturday and it takes like four or five hours from where we are to get to Ho Chi Minh City and when we <laughs> we took the luggages out at like 10 30 just to be ready and found out that the driver was only halfway from Saigon to our house so it would have taken another two hours and we essentially would have been late so we were all kind of like nervous and scrambling and like the, in the history of like me going to Vietnam that has never happened. Um, and I know like renting a car in Vietnam is like very different than here because one of the main forms of transportation there is by motorbike. So people don't really drive cars. And so when you have to rent a car, go somewhere, you have to get like an actual car, like you get like a big van or like whatever. And it's a whole experience. You have a driver, whatever. So we were like very nervous and we were like panicking. And my uncle had to call like the owner of the company and he had to like call one of his drivers who like had to rush over. And so, yeah, and so it was very nerve wracking. And I'm pretty sure we all thought like the driver was like upset because he had to like get up. And so like he was driving wild. So it was kind of a scary experience, but we got to the airport on time. Um, and yeah, so it's also like, I feel like it's funny because every time that we go to Vietnam, like something is going on. Like the last time we went, there was like some political issue. This time we went, there was like that big virus in China. So we had to wear like masks on the plane, which I don't know if I filmed the mask on, but we like wore masks half of the time. Um, yeah, so we went in and we checked in. That took like forever. It took like, it was literally the longest check-in process ever. And we were the first in line, but we were like the last ones to finish. And in Vietnam as well, which I think you guys saw at the beginning, your family's not allowed to come into the airport. So we went in to check in and then had to go back out and say bye to them, which is really emotional. And I'm probably gonna start, and I'm probably, and I'm probably gonna start crying again. So I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but it was very emotional. I feel the tears coming, I feel the tears coming. It was very emotional to say bye. My cousin Jeffrey and I, my cousin Jeffrey is just as emotional as I am, if not more. So like he was crying too. What? <laughs> Jeffrey was crying too. Jeffrey was crying more than I was. Like even when we went outside, inside, like he was still crying. So it was just really sad to say bye to everyone. We try to go back like every two years. We spent like two weeks every two years, which is like a very long time to be away from family. So 
but it's such a big trip it's such a big and expensive trip for us so it's hard for us to do more than that but that's why it's really hard to say I'm gonna cry <laughs> but that's why it's like hard to say bye because you know they're family and like you only get to see them for two weeks and so anyways I'm home I'm feeling a little sad I'm feeling very emotional um, yeah, I'm feeling very emotional, but I am happy to be home and happy to be in my space, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope it's good. I'm not sure what I got. I'm not sure how it's going to come together. So I hope that you enjoyed following along. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following along on my adventure. I really hope you enjoy it. I would love if you liked and subscribed. I don't know what else is coming to this channel. I will definitely do a haul to see, to show you guys what I have, what I got. And I'm hoping to travel some more and hoping to share that here. Hope you guys enjoyed following along. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.